Yeah, I think I think one, I think your relationship with risk. A lot of people will say what's your risk tolerance, but I think I like to better say what's your relationship to risk because it really is about a personal relationship. You know, like what's my tolerance for my kids or my wife is very different than what's my relationship with them. Right. And so everyone has a relationship to risk. And when you're clear about what that relationship looks like, that that lets you know what degree you can enter into that. And so some people can be an entrepreneur and they're going to eliminate some of the upside uh, of being an entrepreneur by eliminating some of the risk and buying a franchise. Mm-hmm. It's very, very low risk. There's a proven system and a process. You have people who've gone before you. You're doing it just like everyone else. And you are. Box, right? Yeah, do it. And if your relationship to risk is low, that kind of entrepreneurism is very much for you. If you want to create something from nothing and birth something, then your relationship ship to risk has to be has to be positive and um i also think that your support system early on i didn't i didn't know that i didn't i didn't pay attention to that of what my support system needed and and how different that relationship to risk was is that like the mentors around you the other entrepreneurs your family more i'm more thinking my family like my Mm -hmm. wife when in 2001 when i quit my corporate job Paid me money whether I was working or not. Yeah. It was a great gig. When I quit that, no money, no clients, nothing. And I just, I'm going to start something from scratch. My relationship with risk was very different than my wife's. Now, both of us felt a deep, deep calling that this was the right thing to do. Matter of fact, right before, like two or three weeks before I ended up quitting my job, my wife said, it feels like right now all these doors are opening up and it would be it would be more dangerous to not follow God's leading in this business than it would to go bankrupt, which yeah. talk about a superstar partner in that. But my, but what I learned was over time, her relationship with risk was very different. So <laughs> if I would have, if I would go back 21 years and talk to myself, then I would, I would focus more on giving her some areas of stability that were important to her instead of just asking her to trust me. Because while she did trust me, it caused her more pain and problem than, than she needed to have. 